<laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Peter, and we're here to make progress, not perfection. But on that way to progress, we're gonna play some laggy ass games. So today, we're gonna talk about how to deal with lag. You see this? I hate this game! But first, story time. Growing up in middle school, I used to play StarCraft, a lot of StarCraft with my best friend Mark. You must construct additional pylons. Who, by the way, in case you guys didn't know, he's the one who edits my scripts and outlines for the tutorial videos that you guys so like. Now, Mark wasn't particularly the best player when it came to StarCraft. No, 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 far from it. But he was amazing when there was lag. Any time that there was lag or delay, he looked like a fucking god. See, we used to play on dial-up internet. Yes, that dial-up internet. And the connection was iffy to say the least. Laggy inputs all the time. But every single time that there was delay and we had a battle, he would win every single battle. He would just demolish me every single time. Now, this was in middle school, so fast forward into high school when I eventually got cable internet, and I thought this was the godsend. So at this point, we eventually switch over from playing StarCraft to Warcraft 3, and it was amazing, and I thought I would have the advantage. But of course, lag and input delays were inevitable during the early cable internet days, because this shit was unstable and Comtrash was still trying to figure out what's going on. And Mark would still beat me with his dial-up at the time, because he hadn't upgraded to cable internet, because he lived with his mom and so did I, and we were in high school. He didn't get a choice in his internet. Years later, fast forward again, I had finished college, and I asked him, Hey man, remember those days when I had faster internet connection uh, on cable internet and you were on dial-up? And he said, yeah. What about it? I said, how is it that when there was delay or any sort of lag that happened, you still were able to beat me every single time? I mean... I've played during those times of input delays, right? I played during those times of input delays where you had the lag, I had the lag, and it was literally unplayable. And his response was fucking priceless. He said, You merely adopted the lag. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see under 200 ping until I was already a man. Of course, <laughs> Of course, he had gotten that quote from Reddit, right? At the time, but nonetheless, it, it had already really stuck with me ever since when he said that to me. Now, I had never really thought too much about it, about what Mark said, but subconsciously, it really affected the way that I practiced Tekken. And it wasn't until a couple of viewers of mine on my Twitch stream had asked me a very interesting question. How come you have your bars set on four bars in practice mode, by the way? This is when I realized that a majority of you guys out there who are watching this video probably don't practice with input delays. And quite possibly that's the reason why many of you aren't getting your combos or punishments when the connection isn't five bars or four bars. And when three bar hits, all hell just fucking breaks loose. See guys, the reason why Mark was so fucking good when there was lag was because he was always playing with lag. To him, it was just the norm. He didn't really have much of a choice on his internet connection because he was on dial-up. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do, right? As for me, switching over to Tekken, I pretty much only play online. So the majority of the time I find myself playing against four bars and three bars. It's very, very rare for me to find somebody who's like a five bar. It's like one in 25 players or one in 20 players that I play that have five bars with me. I mean, fuck it. Those of you who watch my Twitch streams, um, 
You guys know that there's only one five bar connection that I ever have, and that's with Draymond. NANI? Everybody else that I play is either four bars or three bars. Actually, the majority of you guys who play me on the on stream are three bars to me. But anyways, for that reason alone, I've always set my practice inputs to four bars. And occasionally, occasionally, I'll set it to three bars. If you practice with four bars or three bars as a handicap for the majority of the time, then when you run across a four bar or a three bar, you're not nearly as off put by it. Right? You're you're kind of used to it. It's it's kind of like weight training in a sense that if you train with a heavier weight, you can do well with a lighter weight. So my suggestion to you guys is to start practicing your bread and butter combos at five bars, and once you can do that switch the inputs immediately to four bars of connection delay. Once you can then master the four bar delay, then switch it to three bars and try to practice it then. And by the way, I don't recommend going down to two bars or one bars for practicing these combos as connections are literally unplayable. I'm pretty sure Mark would even agree with this. It's unplayable at two bars and one bar. So if you get across a two bar or a one bar, just play one game, dip out, get the fuck out, all right? Anyways, what I'm really getting at is for the sake of your execution, particularly if you play 80% or 90% of your games online, then take advantage of this option in practice mode. If you play exclusively offline, however, or only play offline, then this doesn't apply to you. Boop, doesn't apply. And I know there's nothing we can do about lag spikes that happen mid combo, beginning of round, end of round, whatever. But if you can at least get used to practicing on a consistent four bar delay or a three bar delay, then I think it could really help you guys out for those who might be struggling to perform your combos under those conditions. And yes, I realize that also, you know, some combos are harder than others, of course. But a thing that I also realized when playing was that a good 50% of my viewers are probably from EU. And typically speaking, I get about three bars with them but I'm still able to play the game more or less as long as the connection isn't happening with crazy spikes. So I've felt pretty used to the three bars after a little bit. It, it's playable to me. And aside from just combos, I find that having more input delay in practice mode is extremely useful for training to react to things like block punishing or ducking strings or, or sidestepping strings, those type of things. And if there's nothing else that you take away from this video, please take this with you. When you're starting to learn block punishing, when you're starting, practice with five bars. Practice with five bars at the beginning. Then once you get mildly comfortable with that, immediately switch the delay to four bars. And the logic behind this is if you can react to this in four bars, then you can react to this in five bars you will have less time to block punish and you will have less time to react to the strings that you need to duck when you have four bars of delay in practice mode. So your reactions will naturally be quicker if you happen to play somebody with a faster connection. And then to take it one step further, set it to three bars. Those strings that you have difficulty in punishing when you're actually playing online under those conditions, practice under those conditions. Not only does this force you to react quicker, but it also simulates what you're likely going to encounter in online play. Why would you practice in a five bar setting in practice mode when you get only three bars online? So yeah, guys, uh, I hope this little tip about practicing with input delays at least found its way to a couple of you guys out there who are experiencing this. I, I know the inputs and the net code of Tekken is not ideal, but Hey man, it's it, it's all we got. Ho hopefully in the future, at some point, we get um, rollback netcode that allows for more than three frames or whatever they have right now. Uh, maybe we get six, seven, eight frames of rollback. Uh, and yeah, hope it, hope it's really good. So the only thing I have left to say is be like Mark. Embrace the lag, be molded by it, and become a true competitor who doesn't fear the lag. Oh, and by the way, if you lag switch me online mid-game, 
I will find you. I will find you. Thanks for watching, guys, and joining me on this video. Also, thank you so much, patrons, for your ever so gracious support. Without you, this would have not have been possible. And if you're new here and you like what you see, consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification icon. Below in the descriptions, as always, I also have my links to my Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon page. See you next time.